Olori Toby allegedly breaks down in tears as Oni of Ife told her that it's Queen Naomi's decision to make or to say who stays or leave the palace. My people, one that shall never end. <laughs> hey, you know, ever since uh, Toby gave birth to twins, we have been hearing allegedly that she thought she is going to be the one to call the shots from that day henceforth but <laughs> as the day passes by she got disappointed by the day hey first we heard that uh, she had been demanding for all that belongs to queen naomi in the palace of which the king said no to it now information reaching us is that only of ife have told her to her very face that see you <laughs> if you know what is good for you make friends with queen naomi because it is it is her decision to make and to determine who stays in the palace and who does not stay i want to remind you that sometime last week or last two weeks we heard that there have been so much manipulations such that they can manipulate the king or queen naomi to do things in their favor uh, after some days that toby gave birth we heard allegedly that when Naomi said that she will manage and stay in the palace with Toby and uh, Dr. Elizabeth. But after a few days, hey, after Iyaba went to Akure to wash Kwenomi's face with herbs, I don't know if you watched that video, they said Kwenomi have decided that she is not going to stay in the palace with any one of them. <laughs> so at this point, hey, hey, the manipulations or their concussions when they work on Queen Naomi know they work on her again. So as we speak now, a lot of things have changed. You know, Queen Naomi have said that she is not coming back to the palace unless all of them leave that palace. They said only even made it clear that all of them, including uh, Dr. Elizabeth. But a lot of people believe that uh, because of the role Dr. Elizabeth has played, in the relationship between Queen Naomi and the uh, Oni of Ife ever since she enters the palace, that Queen Naomi might want to stay with her, you know. And from what we heard, these people they have been a serious relationship, as in they have built Dr. Elizabeth have been able to build a strong relationship between her and uh, Queen Naomi. So Queen Naomi might not want Queen, uh, Dr. Elizabeth to go out of the palace, knowing that she really needs someone around. Because if you remember the first time she was there, she was with uh, 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 Ashley, you know. Because the task in the palace is not something she can be able to uh, uh, carry on on herself alone. So I believe she might decide to uh, let Dr. Elizabeth stay in that palace. Because, <laughs> hey, now she be the madam of the house. According to what we are hearing, they said... Only of Ife told uh, Toby that when Toby was kind of shedding tears and all of that, that the fact remains that none of them understand what it means that Kwenomi is an integral part of the king and she is destined to go on this royal journey with the king. That if Kwenomi decides to leave, that a lot of things will go wrong in the uh, leadership and in the life of the king. And this brings us to a whole lot of things that have been said concerning Oni of Ife and the Queen Naomi's relationship. You know, some seer some time ago said that the two of them are uh, uh, 14th century lovers. I don't know if you have watched that particular video, but for the interest of those who did not hear about it, they said these lovers, that 14th century, this thing happened 14 centuries ago. That they are the ones who reincarnated that uh, during that period there was a prince a very handsome prince with a very beautiful princess they were in love you know and they wanted to marry themselves but something happened along the line people who don't want the prince to become the king then they said they they cried him you know so that he will not be the king. Then the said princess then cried and cried and cried, such that she refused to get married. They said she went into the bush. She lived there all by herself. After seven years, she joined the prince, you know. 
And before all this thing happened, they promised themselves that in their next world, that they are going to be inseparable, that nothing can ever separate them, that no matter uh, what comes for them, that they are going to triumph over all of them. Hey, <laughs> And if you see the way only of your first love, love story with Ekwenami is going, <laughs> from what we heard, though, they say, now them be the two. But the thing is that Kwenomi was born into a family that is not royalty. You know, why uh, the prince then happens to be this uh, Initan Ogunwasi. Allegedly, oh, hey, <laughs> what a love story, a love and uh, what I say. Okay, now, that is why everybody is pointing uh, at the same direction, saying that these two, that nothing can ever separate them. The only thing that will happen is that their time will be wasted. And if you check it very well, these people are seriously wasting their time, you know, to see if they will be separated. But I didn't see it coming. And if you check very well, you'll find out that uh, only Ofife is not giving up on Queen Naomi. Yes, so, and Queen Naomi cannot leave, considering the fact that she cannot get married to another person. Let me tell you, <laughs> If you reason this thing very well, you find out that it could be possible that they are the 14th century reincarnated lovers, as we heard. Because Queen Naomi is a prophetess, so yes. And I believe if she cried to God that she wants whatever it is that the king have done on her to be lifted, God is capable of doing it. But if it is the will of God that she will remain in that marriage, God might decide not to do it just for her to be in that marriage. And I'm sure she must have gotten an answer from God ever since all of this thing started. And that is why she is still with the king, you know. But she has made it clear that she is not returning back to the palace with the women. And I believe also that she has gotten an answer. That is why she, is, uh, 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 she accepted to move into that lucky mansion to be with her husband. And if what Mariam said then was true, that uh, she had miscarriage, it simply means that she is... With the king that the only thing that is remaining is for her to come back to the palace now it simply means that uh, they are together you know coming to the palace is a different thing altogether what matters is that these two they are together and they're happy together so what we are hearing right now is that the king have made it open to all of them including toby who thought that she is in charge right now that it is Queen Naomi's decision to say who stays in the palace or who does not stay. So if Queen Naomi says she is not coming back to the palace, that means her home remains that Ikoi mansion that the king just bought for her. You know? <laughs> this is so funny. So guys, don't forget that these are all alleged information. I do not live in the palace. Okay, subscribe to this channel, follow my page, and share this video. I love you guys. Bye for now.